Welcome back to another tutorial on Java JDBC. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use transactions with JDBC. All right. So we will learn a lot about uh, transactions uh, in this video tutorial. So first we will see what is a transaction and then next what are the seed properties that defines a transaction successfully and we develop transaction with JDBC. So basically uh, I create a small Java program and I demonstrate how to use a JDBC transactions. All right. So what is a transactions? <clears throat> a transaction is basically a unit of work. To keep it simple, a transaction is a set of SQL operations that needs to be executed successfully or not at all. All right. You can execute multiple statements together based on your application. If everything is okay, all of these statements are executed together. This is known as a commit. And if there is a problem, then none of the statements are executed. This is known as rollback. The database must satisfy the ACID properties to guarantee the success of our transaction. That is a database transaction. <coughs> so ACID properties are the standards which guarantees the success of database transaction. All right. So ACID stands for atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. So these factors are important in order to achieve a successful database transaction. So if you want to learn more about ACID properties, then just you can Google out, you can read the word ACID more about ACID properties. All right. So by default, auto commit is set to true. So we need to explicitly make it as a false by set by calling set auto commit method in JDBC API. <clears throat> the connection interface provides the set auto commit commit and rollback methods to perform transaction management all right so here are the steps that need to uh, you know uh, that needs to uh, perform transaction management so first we need to disable the auto commit mode by passing false value to set auto commit method and we need to call the commit method to commit the transaction if all the statements are executed successfully and if there are any statements fails then we call the rollback method to cancel the entire transaction all right so in this example we are going to use a simple uh, database table that is users with id name email contain password so i will show you this uh, database setup in a minute all right so this is the code snippet so at at beginning we need to set uh, auto commit mode as a false or we need to disable the auto commit mode and after that we can execute a multiple statement like insert statement update statement or delete statement <clears throat> and these statements are grouped as a transaction and then we can commit the transaction by using commit method all right so if any of the statement fails then then we need to roll back the transaction right so for that we use a rollback method and we can roll back the entire transaction all right so basically connection interface offers these methods to perform a transaction management all right let's switch over to the eclipse and let us see this is in action so this is a simple uh, java uh, java class that is a jdbc transaction example and here we can see this is a jdbc url username password and this is a main method and here uh, first we get a database connection all right so basically we call get connection method and we pass jdbc url username and password in order to get a database connection so in this example we are using mysql database <clears throat> all right and here you can see we have we are creating a prepare statement so once we got a connection object then we can create a prepare statement object all right so let me uh, comment here like uh, we are using try with resource statement in our order to you know close the JDBC resources automatically. So before Java 7 we need to use a try with uh, we need to use a final block in order to close the resources right. So notice here we are uh, creating a two prepare statement objects uh, one for uh, insert statement and one for update statement all right. So before that we have disabled the auto commit mode and this is a create insert statement and this is a create update statement so we are performing multiple sql statements all right 
and then we commit the, commit the transaction using commit method all right so if there are uh, any statement fails then it you know uh, we need to roll back the transaction right so for that we can call the rollback method and we can roll back the entire transaction <coughs> pretty simple right so let me show you the important transactions related methods that connection interface offers so this is the internal implementation of connection interface and uh, yeah here we go this is the set auto commit this method get auto commit method auto commit method uh, commit rollback so these are the few apis the connection interface offers in order to work with a transaction management in jdbc all right so as usual we just print the exception details to the console in a standard way all right so this is a very simple a java program that demonstrate how to use a transactions with jdbc all right so notice here this is database setup uh, we have created jdbc underscore demo database in a, in earlier video tutorials and we have also created a user table <coughs> all right now we have a database and tables in place now we can just uh, run the program and let us see uh, the output all right let's go ahead and let's run this, run, run this program and here we go the now let's check the, the database here yeah here we go the record is successfully inserted and also updated so in case of insert the name was tony and in case of update statement the tony name is replaced by ram all right so this is typically you can perform uh, you know multiple statements as a single transaction it's pretty simple right yeah this is important for beginners to understand how to you know how to perform a transactions using jdbc all right so i have also written a blog post or a blog article on this topic and i have published on my website so here is the link and you can see you can get a source code from this write-up tutorial all right uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel to view more videos and uh, click on thumbs up to like our videos thanks for watching i will see you in the next video